to BBC One. On BBC One now, Kilroy. Your partner says he'll leave you if you don't lose weight. What should you do? Hello and good morning. You happy with your weight? Or are you always trying to slim down? What about your partner? Is he happy with your weight? Does he find you attractive, sexy? Or is he like Jeff here, who's threatening to leave his partner, Julie, if she gets any bigger? Jeff, do you mean that? Yeah. What have yeah. you said to her? Um, I don't want her to get any bigger than she is now. Um, I've seen some photographs and pictures of her in the past of when she was a lot bigger than she is now and uh, I don't want her to go that way. And so you said to her what? Um, either keep your weight as set as it is now or lose a bit. What is it that you don't like about her being bigger? Um, I don't want to, s I think, say, I see people who are couples together, they together for a few years and the partner starts to relax and thinks she's comfortable, starts to put on weight and the, the other partner thinks I don't find her attractive anymore, goes looking other places. Is that what you think you might do? Yeah, and I don't want that to happen. You, you think that if she puts on some weight, yeah. more weight, you'll find her unattractive and yeah. you'll go looking elsewhere? Yeah. How much weight does she have to put on before you I find... Couldn't, I can't actually say that. I'd say it's just, it'd get to a stage I'd look at it and think, there's, there's better things out there than, than this. You um, said you didn't want to be in a size 14. Yeah, I'd you say... You said size 14 is too big. How heavy are you now? About nine, nine and a half stone. Yeah. What does this make you feel? I think it hurts when anybody ever criticises you, but um, particularly your weight. I think most women are conscious about the weight, and I have been a size 16. But I'm the same person now as I was when I was that big. Do you believe him? Of course I believe him, yeah. You believe that he... he, he but do you love him? Naturally, yeah. Do you I love do. her? Yeah. But if you love her, I thought it was for better for worse. That's, in that's just the point, I do, but it's a case of what happens in the future if, if she's a size that I don't feel comfortable with. Well, how do you know whether you're not going to feel comfortable with it? That's you love her. This is, she's not going to change. I've she's the same person. I've been with big, bigger women in the past and there's just no spark that I haven't found it, felt anything for them. So you well. think he will walk out on that moment when you just go that bit over Definitely. the scales? Well, he's told me I've got to lose a stone in weight before we go on holiday in five weeks. Well, you've got to lose a stone now. Yeah, not in five weeks, no. Why? It's just he said I've got to lose weight before we go on holiday. Why? We, had, we had a little conversation one day. And a conversation? Yeah. Oh, really? She was in the bathroom. She, I said, get on the scales, see how much you put on. Since so she met me. And um, she says, oh, I'm about nine and a half stone. I said, oh, it's about half a stone heavier than when you met me. And it's just like I see it so many times in sort of life. People meet the other people, settle down, get comfortable. And they start to add the pounds. You're worried what, that she'll get complacent? Yeah. And she'll put on weight. Yeah. But this, what about this holiday? What do you mean? She doesn't lose weight. You're not, you've said two things now. You've well, said that, first of all, if she puts on weight, you're out the door. Now you're saying she's got to lose weight. Going, Otherwise, you, what, you won't go on holiday? We're going on holiday. We've got to sort of pick out and enjoy ourselves, have a good time. And she's got to put on more and more pounds there. And it's just the same again. When she comes back, she's not got to turn around and say, right, I'll lose them pounds now. It's got to be a an extra added thing onto what she is now. Do you feel you're living on eggshells? Walking on eggshells? Slightly, slightly, yes. I do. But um, it's... I don't really know what I'm supposed to do because this what do you is think my you're natural size. To? I am this you feel, big. This you feel, is my size. You look I, OK. I'm not... I don't think I'm going she to get any okay. smaller. She looks OK. Yeah, she looks all right. Yeah. You sure I mean, about... No. What's the matter with you? I'll come to you later. I'm saying you, she looks OK and they're all saying yeah and you're Did sitting there... Did he say no? He's sitting there with a long face on. He's sitting there with a long... What? Didn't say anything. Didn't say anything. All right, we'll come back to you. <laughs> <She'll> <laughs> back to you. <laughs> Don't let me forget him, because he was the only one. She does right. look but OK. OK, you yeah. say... What is it? If you've got... You feel... You feel comfortable. You feel... No, this is important. You feel comfortable. You feel happy with yourself. I am perfectly happy. You I was feel happy you look when I was good. 16. Yeah, I and felt all right then. I felt average size. I didn't think I was too big then. 
I didn't appear the centimetre. I'm fat. Come on, Wendy. What's going to happen if she does lose all this weight that you want her to lose, yeah. and she's how you want her to look? What do you What do you want to change about her then? Is well, she got to dye well, her hair? She's, she's Has she got to <laughs> <is she gotta, laughs> not wear nail varnish? I mean, no. come on. I mean, she, she's actually perfect for me as far as I've been. With other lasses, and she's but like, she's not though, is she? I mean, she's walking on eggshells. No, at the moment, she, she's I'm oh. quite comfortable. Yeah. At the moment, I so don't. in the future, if she puts on weight, I mean, what's going to happen there? Yeah. I mean, that's come what, on, that's Mr. What I'm Oil saying. Painting, what's going to go on then? <laughs> oh, little little Bob there. I mean, where I, are you? Hang on, Andrew, I'll come back to you. Where are you ever going to be satisfied? I'm, I'm satisfied now, but I don't... But I'm you're not satisfied. You're not. You looked at her you're in the bath and you made her... You said I made her. You said I made her weigh herself. Yeah. If you were satisfied now, she wouldn't have to be worrying about losing weight to go on holiday. Yeah. For just, you. For you. Yeah. What are you going to do for her? He's not going to take I, a camera on holiday, he's getting by six the way. Pack he's, told, he's told you he's not going to take a camera, hasn't she, he? She he's not taking a camera on holiday. She asked me to get a six-pack to go on holiday. Well, take your own camera. Where are you going? I mean, take your what own camera and snap your own lovely men on the what beach. Should she I mean. do? Nothing at all. She looks great. She What's does? wrong? I yeah. can't see it. I just don't want but it. She's not going to be happy if she's got this man moaning and nagging at her, is she? Well, yeah. off iron. What? Off iron. Why? Get rid. Get You've been rid. in that situation. Yeah, I have been in that situation. And I tell you what, it doesn't get. If I mean, I never lost weight when I was in the same situation as you. Julie. I couldn't lose weight. Uh, I mean, the more the pressure is on, the more the the way well, you, you, you stay. Pressure on you. My boyfriend, he hinted. I mean, you got all the jokes and everything. You know, when God was handing out chins, Wendy thought he said gins, and she asked for a double. You know, <laughs> um, when we go over a, a, a bridge with a weight restriction, it's oh, oh, Wendy, get out, walk over. Oh. You know, all this. Well, you know. What did that make you feel? I felt dreadful. I felt under such pressure, I couldn't believe it. But I couldn't believe this person. Did you feel demeaned? That, yes, I felt every Did you lose wretched respect, emotion. Self-respect. I had no res respect for myself. Yeah, but what was worse is, as it went on, I had no respect for him either. But you can understand then how Julie might feel. I can totally what did empathize. You do? I I got rid of him, and as soon as I got rid of him, and as soon as the pressure was off, I slimmed right down. And I mean, I'm not thin now. But I mean, I don't have any problems. So she should get rid of the oil painting. No. Yeah, yeah. definitely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> and then if uh, she wants that to was go a, back. That was a question. It wasn't no. a statement. It was a question, no, but Julie. It, it doesn't nag me. It doesn't const constantly go on to me like but say you're on you are all You said it yourself. You're yeah. walking but on eggshells. That's not the way you should be going on, surely. Oh, well, maybe not. But you don't love somebody. Because they don't nag at you, do they? I think everybody has a good nag anyhow, don't they? Oh, well, yeah. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, go on. No, I was just going to ask, Julie. You said you was quite happy when you was a size 16. So yeah. what made you go down to a 12? Was it somebody else? No, well, no, I just had a baby, so it was like a size 16. So that's then. the reason you And then I just, I just lost the weight, naturally. Down to what you and are. And this is what I am now. So I think this is my size. Everybody yeah. has a natural size, what they should be. Some people are fat, some people are thin. This is my size. And he wants me to be slightly smaller. Well, I he think all this he'll do is put the weight on you. If he keeps pressurising yeah, yeah, you, definitely. Yeah. definitely. Yeah. It works. Andrew? I disagree with that. Um, first of all, I mean, Jeff, well, a lot of you are missing the point. He's saying that he won't be happy if she continues putting on the weight. Yeah. And yeah. he'll make him miserable. He's not saying that she's yeah. fat right not now. Right. He's finished. He's finished. Right. Andrew. And what he's saying is he's looking ahead in his relationship with his, with his wife. Girlfriend. And he's saying if it continues like that with his girlfriend, then obviously it's going to put him off. Yeah. Right? And I have, what do you mean, I'm, obviously? Uh, well, the thing is that I've had... I mean, I've, it's obvious that it will put any man off, or it's obvious it's putting him off? Well, I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, we, we men, we tend to attract women. Uh, we, we look at women as a sexual object as well. When we have... Um, if as we well. go into our intimate... Well. Stage, <laughs> <laughs> when, we go, yeah. when we go into our intimate stage, when we go into our intimate stage in, in, when we go to, to bed, yep. We, we, we have the emotional side of things and we also have the physical side of things, which women have difficulty in, in, in breaking that up. Whereas men, they like to go to bed with their, with their wives or their girlfriends or their partners, knowing that there is a physical attraction as well, whereas women don't really have that. We do! do. <laughs> I'll give you an example. I'll give you an example. <laughs> It's possible, for, it's possible for a woman. It's, it's, it's possible for a woman to go to bed with someone maybe five times larger than them. No, knowing, no. Knowing, I'm saying it's possible. I'm saying it's possible for the simple reason being that they know that he's caring, he's loving you, look after them, but they won't really think that much of his own physical appearance as such on the sexual sense. 
whereas men cannot tolerate that. Where have you been? Where have you been? You're talking rubbish. 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 Justin, rubbish. Yeah, but he's supporting you. He's, what Andrew is saying, apart from everything, yeah, he's got it all wrong about women. Obviously, yeah. you, he thinks women doesn't, don't kind of have sexual feelings. Did you know that? <laughs> <laughs> Right. That's why I got um, three but what is But the important thing about what he's saying is that he can understand Andrew. He can understand Andrew's well, yeah, anxiety and apprehension, and therefore he is supporting... Uh, sorry, Jeff. He is support, Andrew is supporting Jeff huh. and saying, yes, yeah, she should lose weight. She should make him happy. Yeah, but you shouldn't, should why? you? I mean, you, you, you're, be, you're with that person because you like them, not what they look like, not what they are, but who they are. I mean, and the more... The more they're on and on, I mean, from personal experience, the more they're on and on at you, lose weight, lose weight, That's you're just fat. That's point, though. Yeah, I, but, I'm with but, 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 yeah, but you're, yeah, but, You didn't yeah, finish you what you were saying. The more they're on at you, what? I mean, I mean, personally, my other half says, oh, you're too fat, lose weight, lose weight. And you think, OK, maybe yeah, I should. But the more he keeps on, I get depressed, I get upset. And when he's not there or other people aren't around, I binge, I eat. I go to that fridge and I will eat... He does Any this to you now? Yeah. What does he say to you? I mean, just basically, he says, oh, you don't look very nice. You're, you're fat. Uh, how long have you been? Uh, uh, do you mind telling us however you are? What size? I'm only, well, I'm ten and a half stone. Right. And he says, when does he say that to you? Uh, whenever he feels like it, what really. What else does he say? I mean, just basically, I, you know, I'm not feminine because I'm not thin. I don't look like a supermodel or something. Or does, he, does, he not, does he say he doesn't fancy you? No, no, he doesn't say that. But does then, does in my mind, I feel that he doesn't. You feel that you, he yeah. finds you less sexually if, attractive. How, ca how can you think someone fancies you if they turn around and say you're fat and not feminine? Right. And then they want to sleep with you. You say, well, you can't want to because I'm, I'm this fat, horrible person. So you feel under considerable emotional, psychological pressure yeah. to lose weight. Yeah. And that makes, instead of you losing weight, yeah, it actually I, fought you binge, you say, when he's not there. Yeah. What do you do? I go to the fridge and eat as much chocolate and crisps and anything I can. What should you be doing? Well, I should be. No, no, what would you? Sandy. Sandy, yeah. Yeah, it, I feel the other way. When my husband gives me pressure, I automatically stop eating and I try and slim yeah. because I want to lose weight. I want to feel sexy with him. I don't want to put on weight. I'd love to feel sexy. And I need him to do it because if I carry...